Hello guys. Today we will discuss about uh, failover groups and what are the types of failover group we have. So failover group basically is a collection of physical port. This port may belongs to the same node and this may also belongs to a different uh, node. So the main purpose of failover group is to maintain the accessibility of the link whenever uh, there is a port failure or there is a link uh, failure. Suppose we have a few ports in a failover group and if one port goes down then whatever lips are hosted over that particular port will be migrated to a different port based on the failover group defined. So as you can see in the screen that we have uh, three types of failover group. The first two is system defined and cluster wide. The third one is user defined. So the prod that you are able to see here, this particular group name is uh, user defined. So let's discuss one by one. So the system defined failover group is present by default in the system. We don't have to uh, create it. System defined uh, failover group is uh, by default associated with all the data lives present in the cluster. So the system will define that uh, in case of uh, a port failure, what would be the target uh, port of the lib? No manual intervention required in this case. The second one is uh, cluster wide. So again, this is not created by a user and uh, it will also be managed by uh, system by default all the data ports present in the cluster are the member of this particular failover uh, group so the by default the cluster management leaf is associated with the uh, cluster wide failover group the third one is uh, user defined so user defined failover group will be created by a cluster administrator and based on the requirement or situation we can add or remove port from that uh, failover group. We have to consider the target uh, role of that port while adding to the user defined failover group because there are certain limitations like uh, what type of uh, leaf can be migrated to a uh, port based on the role defined to that particular port. So you can check on the video uh, the limitations on leaf migration. So all the rules which are applicable there it's applicable here also so that's all what I wanted to discuss on this video if you have any questions please comment do subscribe and again thank you for watching